Mama Cherry coming to you today, direct, live. Well, no, I ain't live. I'm recording. <laughs> um, <laughs> with the recipe for Mama's Meatloaf. Get a close-up. This is one of the dishes that Gordon Ramsay absolutely fell in love with. He even took us back. To, he went, even went over to Brian's house and had Brian make up some. All right? Simple, simple, simple. And I'm going to show you how it's done. All right? Meatloaf. Throw that down. So, what I do is, when I was a child and used to have meatloaf, um, it always had the peppers and the onions, and but they were always really quite chunky and bitty. And as a child, kids sometimes, they don't like bits in their food. So, as a way of making sure you get all of that flavor in it, what I do is I blitz them. So, in this bowl, you will see I've got red peppers, green peppers, onion, some celery, and a clove of garlic, okay? To that, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just take that and blitz it. Oh, Lordy, hold up. Things didn't come out. <laughs> Here we go. Power. So you just want to get that all mixed in together. Now, also to this, in my, in my recipe, I say you are to add some bread. Now, I don't, we don't really buy white bread anymore, but you can use white bread, any kind of bread you got. I had a hamburger bun in my refrigerator. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to just take the bottom part and I'm just going to mash this up. Now, also, if you have people that are gluten-free, you don't have to put this in. All right? I'm just putting this in because I'm feeding three greedy boys today. So I'm trying to make this thing just a little bit more to it. So we're going to add some bread. And we're also going to add one egg to our mix. Okay. I'm going to add some coriander and some parsley. We're going to put some Worcestershire sauce. Sorry, what was that, Mum? Worcestershire sauce. Sorry, what was that? All right, you know what it is. <laughs> it's W O R C E S T E E R R S H I R E. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. No, it's Worcestershire sauce. It's called Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to put some of that in. Some <laughs> Liam Perrins. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice amount. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so decent. And I also like using some soy sauce. Okay. And we're going to put some of my Cajun seasoning. If you can't get my Cajun seasoning, you can go out and get somebody else, but you'll soon be able to order mine online. And we're going to put a little bit of face seasoning. Garlic powder, some salt, then we're going to take all of this mixture and we're going to add it. This is just your old hamburger mix, minced beef, okay? We're going to add all of these wet ingredients directly, and this is where it gets a little bit messy. And you want to mix it all in. See, this way, there won't be any hard, big bits in it. It's all going to be smooth. Uh-oh, I forgot something. What? Mustard. Oh, yeah. Let me wash my hands and find some mustard. Wait a minute. Please say I got some mustard. Oh, please, yes, I do. American mustard, okay? Yeah, I might be over here in England, but I do not be putting no English mustard or French mustard in my meatloaf. They're too strong. Okay, mustard. And now, let's see here. Cut that all through. Now, if you got like a big piece like that, take it out. 
You didn't see that. <laughs> oh my good Google Mugga. What happened? I just dropped, I pulled that piece out, a whole bunch fell on the floor. Let me clean it up before we get that slip hazard. <laughs> we'll throw that in the bin. Let me get back with my hands. See, that's what happens when you go using utensils. <laughs> Use what God gave you. Your fingers. I wouldn't have had that mess if I hadn't been trying to be cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing it my way. Here we go. My mother once said to me, because when I eat, I tend to eat with my hands. A bit like a monkey. <laughs> but you know what? I love it that way because I said to my mother once, did God give you a fork and place it in your hand? No, he gave you fingers. And like, and a lot of cultures, you know, they eat with their fingers because I think your food tastes better with your fingers. So that's just me. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Now. Once you get your meat like this, you want to work it a little bit because you're breaking that, breaking it all down. Kind of like kneading it, okay? Here's another big piece. Now, when you do this at home, take your time. Because <laughs> I got all this, it's because I'm kind of rushing a little bit for you. Because I know that if I don't get this video in under a certain minutes, y'all ain't going to watch it to the finish. So I'm trying my best. Taking on your advice. So, next, you can take, and I like to make individual meatloaves rather than those big ones like in the old fashioned days. Back in the olden days, we just make the big ones in the tin and then you slice it. This way is nicer. It's kind of like your own personalized meatloaf. So we just roll it up. So is that about a handful? A handful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just place them in. And then that way everybody gets, I'm going to do some mashed potatoes probably with this, or some sweet potato wedges. So this is for my two boys at the moment, my two foster sons. Well, I've got, I've got one. Um, oh, oh, wait a minute, that's my door. I promise you, I'll be right I'm going to pause it. Though, pause it. Okay, so we've got, uh, wow, I've made my 10,000 steps already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, those are for my two boys. I've got two foster kids at the moment. They're both Muslims, so they don't eat any pork. So, therefore, I'm doing it that way. Put that to the side. And then, for myself, my husband, and any other visitors, I think I'll make one more plain, just in case. So, we'll do one more plain one. And then, we're going to make... Here we go. Let's put that there. And you get quite a bit out of this, as you can see. How much mince was there? This was about a pound and a half. Okay. All right. Metric. Oh, please. <laughs> a kilo? Um, that's your test for the day. <laughs> Look it up. There are charts out there. And then what we do... <laughs> all right. And I'm going to... Oh, Mum. Wrap it and bake it. Now, I know America, it was funny, I was watching a program the other day, um, one of them housewives were over here in Ireland, and they go, is that ham? No, it's bacon. It's called back bacon. So, I'm just going to wrap that around it. Streaky bacon works lovely with it, but I don't have any streaky bacon in. That's what you guys call bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> when I say you guys, I mean the American folk. Okay, so we're just going to wrap that, and then we're going to get this in the oven to cook. So, here we go. Meatloaf, made easy. Right. Hold now, on. okay, have a look at them. So that's the one with the bacon. With the bacon and with that. And you can see all the specks. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put that in the oven. All right, how long does it need to go in the oven for? About a half an hour top. Okay. So it's hot. All right. Okay. All right, you're filming. I got you. Right. Mum? I'm filming you. Okay. So these are the meatloaves. Don't worry about the bits there. That's just a little bit of the egg that has come out. But you can tell they're done. Yeah, they're done. And these are our bacon wrapped ones. And they're done. Lovely. These go great with some mashed potatoes. I'm going to do some sweet potato mash and green beans to go with them. 
Done. Lovely. Let me take those off out of the. We'll just move them away out of the oil. Okay, let me just see. Lovely. Okay. And with this bit here, all your drippings, mm -hmm. pour that in a pot and make you some gravy with it. So I'm going to make some gravy with that, some onion gravy out.